Okay, so you saw that it's working, the wheel works. That's perfect. Exactly what I wanted. And if I only did the bearing replacement, it, the bearings probably didn't have to be changed. It was a problem with that support, the case of, of the whole assembly and the tape fixed it. So now it's time to put everything back together. Already the battery is connected. Make sure the battery is in, really connected. And okay. Most important is to make sure that this USB port here is aligned properly. So I will have to put this over the edge like that, but also align the USB somehow <laughs> like that. Yeah. So now you see the USB port is aligned and these edges are also aligned. The clips, each clip has to connect from the bottom to the top and they should click in place. You see these things, they have to connect both sides. So now time to clank it, clank it like that. Make sure the edges are nice and the edges should be nice and even. There's no part that's coming out. It means that the clip was not pressed properly. So that's all good there. Upside down, I have a few extra screws to install now. And I need the Torx T10 right there. So one, I don't tighten them all the way. And also for each foot, that is one. Not all the way. One more. Careful on the wheel, hold it from below like this. Okay, so now this one. This one's tight. Close it, I go to the opposite edge. This one. Tight. Close the foot. This one. It's tight. Okay, and the last corner. It's tight. Press it down and 